Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission. Let's continue, shall we? Let's go to the military ward and get ourselves some information. Are you all set to go? Uh, sure. Good. Let's board the transport. I hope you don't get airsick. I guess we're going to find out. Ryuji, Captain Clive, it's good to see you again. Ryuji? What are you doing here? I decided to stay on Huffman after my discharge. I couldn't go back to Japan after what happened. Colonel Olsen found me and recruited me. I had no reason to say no, so uh, here I am. Natalie, I'm sorry to interrupt, Captain Clive. I'm glad you decided to join us. I'm Natalie Blakewood. I've been ordered to serve as your second in command. Welcome to the Canyon Crows. Are we all done with intro, uh, intro introductions, if I could speak? Yes, sir. Except for the crows who aren't present, of course. They'll get their chance. Let's go. Ryuji has joined your squad. Natalie has joined your squad. We get a lot of members, by the way. Like, a lot of members. It's kind of cool. But keeping them all outfitted and equipped is not cheap. That's where the arena comes in. Ah, oh, the music. I love the music. Keith, contacts at one o'clock, six o'clock. Screw that. We're surrounded. JJ, what are we going to do now? This is all your fault. I told you we shouldn't have gone this far out. What? You're the one that said you wanted to find some easy kills for extra cash. We'll split it. 50-50. 50% of zero is zero, man. I love these two. Cut me some slack. My folks need the money. What for? Your funeral? <laughs> Reinforcements have arrived. Alright. Ha! Hurrah for reinforcements. I told you we didn't have to worry. What's going on? Keith, is this your idea of covert reconnaissance? Walking up to an enemy to shake their hands? What can I say? They looked a little bit lonely, so we thought we'd play with them for a bit. Is that supposed to be funny? Cut it out, you two. Now's not the time for this. Captain, we await your orders. There's only five of them? What are we waiting for? Advance! Right, okay. So, let's pull our friends' asses out of the fire here. Now, Keith and uh, JJ are all about that money. Which we will find out as the game goes on. Now, uh, I don't like that. Let's go... 20% cover. Alright, we'll go to 20% cover. That actually sounds fairly decent, actually. Now, what you kind of want to do, especially with your um, starting troops, as they're going to be very weak, you want to bunch everybody up. And you kind of want to pick on one or two enemies at a time. And that's how we're going to win to start off with. So, we'll go for the siege. Come on, Natalie. You've got this. Natalie is really good. She's your second in command. She also mm, is an interesting character. But, uh, yeah, she has the potential to become really freaking good. Not all of your characters are good. They're not all equal. Now, JJ and Keith are pretty damn good, and so's uh, Ryuji as well. These are pretty main. Your main core team is pretty solid. We'll go for the siege again. Deal with these attackers. Generally, uh, you want to deal with missilers first, because they're the long range bastards that are going to shoot you in the ass. Right, Natalie is in Prim. Her machine's called Primrose. Uh, let's just. 
focus on one at a time. Alright, things aren't going too badly there. Now Keith is in Jerry Can. He can start working over this guy. Be nice of him if he actually hit though. We are going to have to get everybody sorted out with their colours. Because I don't like everybody being different colours. Alright, you know what? Let's go for this guy. Oh, JJ's got a rifle as well. Okay. JJ is also an excellent member of the team. Go for the siege. Yes, one down. Once they start to crumble. Alright, he's going to hit us with a Ziegler. Well, I don't know what he's going to hit us with, actually. Let's fight back. Oh, he's just going in for a quick, cheeky little punch there. And also, if you bunch up, especially on a map like this, you can kind of block them in. So only X amount of them can actually reach you at a time. Right, okay, so... I've got some options here. You know what? Send a missile at that dude. Hey, we actually hit him. I always get surprised when we actually hit somebody with a missile. Now, the trouble is, they're kind of bottlenecked in. Might be worth getting JJ to pull back, actually. Natalie, you can keep going on this guy. Light him up. Right, Keith, I want you to start moving up, making your way over to these guys. JJ, I actually, what are you armed with? Uh, you've only, you don't have a rocket. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, just work this guy over then. I. Uh, well, he disabled his legs. I mean, that's not that useful, really. Right, here are these two jackasses. Oh, nice, he missed. Alright, you just want to charge up to these guys, really. Oh, nice. I like that when that happens. When the enemy goes to attack you, but you get the first shot in and destroy them. <laughs> that will become a big thing later on. Like, the enemies will, like, come in to attack us, and we'll just outright, like, mess them up. Right, okay, so we have a missile system. But, you know what, let's just get in. We will start... Oh, there's the commander there. I don't actually know, like, if there is a specific reason to attack the commander. I don't think it really does much to, like, damage the morale or anything like that. It would be cool if it did. Now, Ryuji, let's get you up here. And then, Natalie, you can move in behind, start working over the commander. Oof. Oof. Oof, he's a, he's a tough lad. That's okay. Keith, move up. Let's get him dug in at the front as well. That's more like it. Yeah, commanders can be pretty tough. Um, now, Jerry can. We have a cat being a royal pain in the ass. I'm not sure why. Let's attack him from the front. Oh, nice. I do like those ri uh, rifles. When they hit, anyway. You can return fire. Um, you can return fire, Natalie, because your Wands is in pretty good condition. Ooh, that did hurt, though. Right, uh, I'll just hit, go straight up. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oof, stripped off, like, half his health. However, we, we took a bit of damage from that, which isn't fantastic. Alright, how are we going? So, 
I think. Ah, oh, see, I've got a lot of body damage here. We're going to carry on, though. Now, ooh, bad one. Right. That could be bad. Because I'm going to actually drop a save here. We might need to reload this. Um, if, if we die, we lose. But only if we die. Anybody else can go down, but not us. Which is a bit, uh, you know, a bit unfair, but whatever. Right, Natalie. Natalie, I kind of want you to try and bail my ass out, actually. Which she did. Unfortunately. Keith, it's all on you, buddy. Now, nobody else can heal you, um, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, Keith is getting pretty banged up. How much health does this guy have? This guy... Mm. It's interesting being so early game. Everything's so weak. All these mechs that we have are so pathetic. Oh, he is going to attack me too. Oh, good. Took that on the arm. That's fine. Return fire, JJ. You shot him in the legs, JJ. That's not what we needed. Uh, JJ. Ooh, God. You can't... You can't afford to miss like that, JJ. Right. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to throw my turn away by using a repair. And... Ryuji... Could you... You're going to have to take this guy out. If you can. Nice. Good night. We've got the Raptor NG, which is nice. Natalie, I'm going to have to pull you back out. And engage the commander. We are slowly wearing the commander down. Slowly being the right phrase. Oh, God. Right, JJ, I'm going to have to kind of pull you out here, buddy. And I want you to use a repair on your body. Oh, hitting us with a smoke. Now, I believe the smoke grenades just lower your accuracy. Which really ain't that great, to be honest. You can even get a couple of different... Um, types of weapons or I think well yeah weapons that you can use to buff your team like smoke grenades chaff grenades that kind of thing but I never really found them that useful so we're not gonna bother with them to be honest okay well you both shot him in the legs okay you've disabled his legs which it's kind of pointless but whatever oh Natalie's getting a little bit beaten up but she's fine Damn it, guys. Come on. Need to start doing some damage on this guy. Keith, you're fine. Hit him with everything you have. Ooh. What? what? How? The OCU was never this good. Well, we are now, boys. We've got ourselves a Zora arm. Alright, JJ. I don't like the look of your arms. You need them. You know what? Just guard. There we go. Sometimes that is the best option. Right. Now let's move in. You know what? We're okay. Let's see if we can go down here. No, there's no way we can be in range with our missiles. Oh, that's fine. Oh, actually, no, we're still not in range of our missiles. All right, well, let's just pile on this guy. Dude. Those Raptor MGs are pretty nasty things to be fighting with. Straight off the bat, like. 
How are we doing? Alright, these are the last two. Sometimes you'll notice there'll be a couple of enemies that haven't activated on the map. But nope, we're okay. Everybody's here. Okay, we've disabled one of his arms, which is good. Just need to disable the rest. Come on, JJ. There we go. Almost destroyed his arms. That's interesting. This dude didn't actually move to attack. It's kind of curious. Alright. That's an attacker as well. Like, his whole um, objective is to come and get in our face and try and take us out. Well, he's useless now because both his arms are gone. Uh, right. Still can't do anything useful. Neither can you. We're in a bad place, to be honest, here. Ah, cool. Missiles. We want to get all of our guys armed up with missiles, really. Go for it. And we will get certain um, abilities later on where we can start doing uh, extra attacks per round. But that's quite, quite far away. I might start doing some training in the arena at some point, just to get us going a little bit faster. Oh god, I'm really badly damaged again. Also, I got a level, so we got some nice big juicy buffs. But leveling up isn't going to do anything really for us for a, a while. Right, he's done. Nice kill. Yeah, we can't. We literally just cannot get close to this guy. And we have no weapons. Really, that we can hit him with. You missed! You missed with your missile launcher, dude. Right, attack. Oh, beautiful, JJ. That's why we pay you the big bucks. The area is clear of hostiles, Captain. Let me informally introduce you to Keith... Carabelle, and uh, join us, Jeriskai. Two more members of the Canyon Crows. Just make sure you never stand between uh, behind me and we'll get along just fine, Captain. Captain? The Colonel has asked us to report to the military ward in New Milligan. The facilities there will also repair and resupply us. Excellent! Uh, we racked up a couple of kills, and even though it got a little bit touch and go there, um, we didn't lose anybody. Now, we get a reward for completing the mission if we're on an official mission. Uh, we don't always get that mission reward. There's quite a few where you only get your kill bonus, essentially. So, bear that in mind. But again, money's not really a problem in this one because we have access to the arena. And this music. Oh, this music. I love it. So what you want to do, every time you get into a town, you want to go to the military ward. And my cat is doing everything he can to make large quantities of noise. Um, oh, before you get to go to the military ward, you want to go to the bar and talk to everyone in the bar. Because there's a lot of a lot of people in this game for your squad are optional people, right? You can actually miss out on many, many, many people. Um, so let's go to Barzilla. And we can talk to the bartender. New Milligan is the OCU's first Huffman settlement. My bar's been around since day one, making us the oldest union side establishment. Quite a legacy. Let's talk to Gray. <laughs> I hear there was a plane crash nearby. What does Billy have to say? Pilots gain different numbers of skill points in each weapon category and dodge rating. It's best to specialize in one type of weapon at first if you want to survive. That's true. Um, and I have everybody specialized with the same weapons, which is basically rocket launchers and machine guns. I heard that CPUs work better on clear nights during a full moon. I heard it from Hash in... Uh, Burden. Really? You can trust him. Really? I think he's telling you a load of old shit, sir. 
Just saying. Um, now, so we can go to the arena. We can check out who's there. Let's do that. Uh, we'll go. Yeah, our odds here aren't great. Although, we could take on um, Rudensky. I guess, ah, as the game goes on as well, you'll be able to put down more money, which again is quite useful. Because generally as the game goes on, you start getting worse odds from the arena because you're getting much better. Oh, yeah, he's had enough. Get out of here. Congratulations, you've won the match. So I always like to go here, do a little bit of leveling up. Now leveling up everybody in this game, in the arena, takes a lot of time and I mean it I mean a lot of time it's insane um, you actually spend more time in the arena grinding than you do actually playing the game I'm not joking uh, and this isn't a short game either so anyway that's all good there so the first thing we really want to do is start upgrading all of our guys so let's head out to the shop before we do anything what can I do for you today well sir what do you have as you can see we have some more uh, vehicles to upgrade and yes we have to upgrade all of them because they're all different machines and as I've said before, you do not want them all to be in different machines. You want everybody to be rocking the same gear because it just makes things easier. And uh, you don't want to like get an opportunity to use someone and they've got a certain type of weapon that you're not equipped for. So you just equip everyone with the same stuff. There is an exception and that will be with uh, Roid. A little bit, actually quite a lot later in the game. Roid will get a unique mech. And it's monstrous. But that, that's not going to happen for a while. So, first thing we're going to do always is upgrade. And we're going to get the Husky. Ooh, Husky. Or should we get the Tempest? See, the Husky Mark III is pretty good. But the Tempest. The Tempest is probably where it's at. It's a lot heavier. But it generates more power. And it has a lot of defense. So we're going to upgrade everybody. What I'll do, I'll show you what I'm upgrading Roid to. And then I will upgrade everybody else off camera. So let's go with the Tempest. 450. And I'm guessing... Uh, actually... Right, the Vapor's no good because the Vapor has a built-in machine gun. And built-in weapons generally are not very good. So we just go for the Tempest Arms. That'll do. Legs. Let's see. You've got the Vapor Legs here. They have less defense but a lot more health. They are faster and they weigh less. So actually the Vapor Legs are probably where it is. Any CPU upgrades we can perform? Not really. I mean, I... Yes, we can upgrade to the rayon. And no backpacks yet. Alright, so weapons. Let's have a little look. Now, the rim is a grenade launcher, which you can actually use at long range and short range. It also has unlimited ammo. The only problem with the multi-purpose weapons is they are obscenely inaccurate. So... We're going to equip everybody with graves. I'm going to give them a grave in each hand. And we're going to get some missile launchers locked in as well. Now, missile launchers have different amounts of ammo depending on what type they are. Um, for instance, that one only has two shots, which is not great at all. But it is quite high damage. Uh, each round... Or each Sarvo is two missiles. Each missile does 12 damage each. This one, for instance, has three shots. That means you can use it three different turns. Uh, that's still two Sarvos. Or two rockets in each Sarvo. Uh, and they do 14 damage each. 
Also, it's slightly more accurate, so we're going to go for the bone. Now, we could potentially put a shield on our mechs. I don't really know how effective shields are. They don't seem like if you guard, they do help out a little bit, but they don't... I don't know. I prefer just having an extra rocket launcher because now, instead of having three shots, if we have two rocket launchers, we have uh, three shots in each rocket pack. So that actually gives us six shots of rocket ammo. And you can really start softening up the enemies coming at you with a decent amount of rocket launchers. Now you can see just upgrading Royd here has basically eaten all of our money. And you can see how long it took to upgrade Royd. Now you have to do that of everybody. So that's why I'm going to show you the, the first upgrade and then I'm going to go do the rest off camera. But I'm going to have to go to the arena to earn some money to upgrade my mechs. So, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.